what's up friends welcome back to the channel if you are new here i am akira and in this video i'm taking you guys along with me for classroom setup day three so i am in the room and i don't know for some reason for this for some reason this year every time i walk into the room i'm like Ugh, I feel like there's so much stuff in here but it's less stuff than there was last year which is good but I don't know I don't know y'all I don't know but I'm just gonna keep on trucking along I'm gonna just get things done my goal today as you saw in the title of this video my goal is to basically tackle all the cabinets basically everything that's up high so all the cabinets so that i can figure out what bins i'm going to keep and what bins i need to take to the storage unit i want to get all of my bulletin boards done at least the backing of everything if not the border as well and then i want to fix this get my whiteboard together so put the border around it at lunchtime i'm gonna go and get some wd-40 if you follow a primary kind of life on instagram and mrs calls campers she's on instagram and on youtube then you know the wd-40 trick for the whiteboard so every time i erase on this whiteboard it has this like streak it gets streaky it doesn't come off all the way but apparently if you treat the board with wd-40 then everything will be able to wipe off smoothly so that is a teacher tip for you if you didn't know that so i'm gonna do that today try to get my um lights situated around my board and get the cord situation fixed possibly get my squares up on the outside of my classroom um, for my wow work. So those are the goals for today. I think if I do those things, then I'll be able to clear off this decor table. Oh, I also wanna hang these up. These are paper lanterns. They're going to represent my kids' tables. So I also wanna get those up. I need to make numbers for them, so I might wait to do that but that is something that I can do. But I'm hoping to clear off this decor table here and this table here. Oh yeah, also wanna get my letters up. So those are all the things that I want to accomplish today. Fingers crossed that I accomplished them. I did bring in my tripod so that I can set you up a little bit more today and move you around and do more time lapses for you. So hopefully that will work out today. But I am going to get this backpack. Oh, oh, all right, let's stop trying to do things with one hand. Anyway, I'm gonna get this backpack off, set you guys up on the tripod, and I'm going to go ahead and get to work. It is currently 10, 12. My mom and my grandma might come up here today just to kind of um, maybe help me out, but really just to see the room because last year we weren't allowed to have like people come into the room. And this year we're allowed to have volunteers and all that good stuff. So. I'm excited um, to have mom and grandma come by at least to just see the room, if not help me. But yeah, I will pick you guys up when I have anything else interesting to tell you. But I gave you guys the rundown of what I wanted to do today. So let's get those things done. Thank you. 
checking in. I am at a stopping point. I'm gonna go and get me some food and then make a stop at the store. I'm gonna need to get some WD-40. Don't think I'm gonna start on my bulletin boards like I originally thought that I was going to today because it's already 1.30 and once I leave out here, I wanna be back by 2.30 and then we have to be out of the building by five. So I'll only have a couple hours in here when I get back. And so I'll flip you around and show you what the room is looking like and then i'll let you guys know what i want to do when i get back here all right so here's front of the room still adding things to this pile so this pile is either like meet the teacher stuff or anything that's going to be like on this kind of display shelf here are big books they're going to be leaving out of my room hopefully and then anything that's going to go on my shelves are there didn't do too much over here um, I did put out my magnetic whiteboards there I don't know if they're gonna stay there but they're there for now this is kind of my little area I don't know if everything that's here is gonna stay these things are gonna stay down here but it, it needs to be organized just a little bit more but for now everything that's there is gonna be there this is still kind of supplies I did pull out my new caddy that I bought over the summer and started filling that with things let's see I cleared off my guided reading and guided math carts I organized these drawers over here so let's see if I can out. so I have like bins in there this is kind of my desk now that I don't have an actual desk so anything that would normally go in my desk, I have in here. Sorry, there's a plug there, so I can't open it up all the way, but you get the gist. And then down here is where I house all of my paper. Let's see if I can open it, yeah. So I have all my paper here, and my construction paper is in the back. And so that's kind of my little printer area. I didn't do much to the bookshelf over here. I just put some PD books down there. This is still a table full of supplies. This is still my bulletin board table. I did, you guys watch me take out everything from those cabinets here and put them here because I am going to be using these kind of bins for my supplies instead of these ones. Um, most of them are solid and you can't see through them and I like my supply bins to be clear. So I got a bunch of these from Ikea. If you saw my classroom prep vlog number two, then you know I got these from Ikea. What else did I do? Um, I took out, these are gonna be what my kids use for their crayons this year. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm gonna put one tray on each desk and this little tray will be for things that, you know, I pass out to the kids or it'll house their crayons because their crayons won't be able to fit in their pencil box. And I'm not doing name tags on the tables this year, which, you know, will come in a later setup vlog. I'll let you guys know about that. But for now, I'm gonna put anything that I want the students to have on this table here. I did clear out that blue cart there and stacked the bins. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this at all. We'll see. And I moved this one here. This one will not live here. It is just here because these are all my library books. <laughs> and so when I'm ready to organize all my library books, I wanted all of my books in one spot. This eventually is gonna go back over there with the other one and my play kitchen is going to go here and my library shelf is gonna go here where all of these books will go. So I think that is about it as far as the update for now. So I am gonna get out of here so that I can grab that WD-40 and grab me some food. And then when I come back, my plan is to get all of my supplies in a clear bin and get all the clear bins back into the cabinet so I can clear off this entire table. 
and then I am going to focus on my whiteboard area. So you see all those cords and stuff, and then you see my string lights. I wanna find some sort of solution for those cords and wipe my board down with WD-40 because if you can see, I think I shared this earlier, but if I didn't, you can see that this is pretty streaky when I erased. So I'm gonna get some WD-40 to help with that and get that done. And I think that is where I'm gonna stop for today. I also wanna find a custodian before I leave and kind of let them know about my bulletin boards up here before I start like doing things and decorating. I totally forgot that some of them were falling off. So I didn't wanna touch that until I touch base with a custodian. So I will try to do that before I leave. But I'm going to stop chatting so I can get out of here and get back here by 2.30. So I will check in with you guys later. Hey friends, I am back in my room. Went to Target and Chick-fil-A. I got these three bins at Target. They're originally $7 a piece and they're on sale right now for $3.50 a piece. So I got three of those for my cube shelf up the front. I also got these paint markers because... I don't know if I've mentioned it in a video, but I'm not going to put name tags on my kids' desks this year. So for Meet the Teacher Night, I'm going to put their names on their desk with these paint markers. And then the infamous TikTok and Instagram hack, WD-40. So we're gonna see if the WD-40 works on my whiteboards today, guys. So I'm gonna put these things away eat my food and then I'll probably come back on and show you guys me putting these supplies away and doing the WD-40 hack. So let's get into it. Your girl is exhausted. It is four, if four fifty-five, and in five minutes we have to be out of the school. So I'm going to walk you around and show you what the room looks like. I feel like every time I show you what the room looks like, it gets more messy. It gets cleaned, and then it gets more messy. Then it gets cleaned, and it gets more messy. But um, I had to take a lot of the stuff away from the board so that I could spray it with the WD-40. I sprayed it and I wiped it down. We have, if you know, the brown paper towels. It was not working, like wiping all the stuff off. So I just used tissue because I don't have regular paper towels, which I think I'm going to get a couple rolls just so that I can have some regular paper, to paper towels in the classroom. But um, the tissue worked fine. I wiped it down and I'm not gonna touch it until tomorrow. I tightened up my string lights around my board and I hid all of the cords. So now my alphabet can go up without any cords in front of it. And the number eight and the number 11 do have my um, string light cords in front of it, but they're clear so they don't really distract the kids from what they're looking at. So I'm pleased with that. Um, overall, it was a very productive day. Like I said, I was able to clear some tables. 
I did have to move some things around um, and pull some things out. But I think what's in my room right now, once it gets organized and put away, then we will be set and ready to go for decor. Bad news, guys. My maintenance guy won't be coming back until Tuesday. And right now, like I told you guys, my boards are coming off. So that means I cannot do my bullet these bulletin boards until next week, which is a bummer because I really wanted my room pretty much done <laughs> by the time next week rolled around. But if bulletin boards and getting ready for Meet the Teachers like the only thing that I need to do next week, then I'll be okay. I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna flip you around, show you the room, and in classroom setup day three. All right, so everything here is the same. This desk and that chair and that pocket chart are a part of the things that will be leaving my room and go into the storage unit. I moved everything off of here and put it here so that I can get to the board. But look at the board, it's nice and clean. Can't wait to see if the WD-40 works. My table, Hot Mass Express, but I have some stuff that was like on that table on there. So that'll get cleared tomorrow. This table got cleared of supplies. So that's good. I only have a couple notebooks, some coloring books and some dry erase sleeves and folders. Those will eventually get put away in the crates up there once I pull those down decor table still looks the same that table got cleared off the table with all the supplies this is just random decor stuff that will get put someplace once the room is done here's the library area looking a hot mess <laughs> all of my empty bins um, I did pull these three tubs out of the bathroom because I'm gonna go through those tomorrow I never opened my chair. I'll open that tomorrow as well. I did do this. I got these bins from Target. This bin I already had, and these bins I already had. So this is kind of gonna be my whole group student supply area. We have clipboards, whiteboards. These are my math toolkits, or the bins that I'm gonna put the math toolkits in. Don't know what I'm gonna put there yet. That's for like markers, erasers, and that kind of stuff. Oh, I did make these cabinets look nice. That was the big project today, getting all of my supplies into the cabinets. I'm gonna do a wide shot of this because it's probably going to be my picture for the thumbnail <laughs> or I'll go like this here we go <clears throat> but that's all the supplies in there nice and neat everything in a bin love it and that is it friends So tomorrow's goals when I come in will be to go through everything on the carpet and solidify the bins that I will not be using this year so that on Friday I will make one big trip to the storage unit and take everything out of here. The next thing I want to do, I want to work on my wow work display. So I'll put, probably put my wow work display on the outside of my classroom or at least get the squares up there. And then I want to tackle this bulletin board and this bulletin board. I can at least get those done and put my letters up, which I think will probably take up all the time that I have here tomorrow because I have a nail appointment in the morning and then a doctor's appointment. So I won't be getting to school tomorrow until around about 12, 30, one o'clock. And like I said, we have to be out by five. So I'll only be here for a few hours tomorrow 
but I think I'll get quite a bit done since a lot of the supplies and organizing and things happened today. So if you like this video, definitely give me a big, big thumbs up so they can reach other people out there who like vlogs. If you haven't already, check me out on Instagram. Here's my handle and here's a little video over on the side. I'm trying my best to post a little bit more over there and stories I pretty much post every single day. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified every single time I post a classroom setup video or a weekly vlog. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.